Hi everyone, my name is Becca and I'm on the HD Kids team and today is the start of our brand new series all about how God invites us to be part of his story. I've got my God's Big Story book here, so let's get started. Hang on, I think it's blue you. Hello? This is a to God's story too. We're going to start by teaching everyone a bit more about God. Let's start by hearing about someone in the Bible who is invited to God's story too. Today we're looking at Jonah. God told Jonah to go to Nineveh city. But Jonah didn't want to go. The people in Nineveh were mean. They stomped on teddies and ate all the biscuits. God told Jonah, they're running far away from me. You need to warn them that they're going the wrong way. And Jonah said, wait a second, where did he go? Jonah decided to run far away. So he got a one way ticket to not Nineveh by boat. Everything was going well until a huge storm started shaking the boat. Jonah knew it was his fault, all his fault. I'm running away from God. You need to throw me overboard. Splash! Jonah thought he was going to jump, but God sent a huge fish to swallow him. Jonah opened his eyes. He prayed to God. Help me. I'll stop running away from you. After three days, the big fish threw up Jonah on the beach. God told him a second time to go to Nineveh. This time Jonah did. He told the people God's message. When the people realised they had been running away from God, they were really sorry, even the chicken was free. He decided to follow God. Wow, what a cool story! It's now time for our game and action song. I've gone back through the videos and picked my favourite game from the last year for us to do. We're going to play Dance with Perry. After we've played the game, we all worship God together. My name is Perry and I help with the Sunbeams group. Now, I hope you're warmed up because our game today is a little bit more dancing. I'm gonna do some dance moves that you get to follow along to. And all the moves are based on different animals and you've got to guess each one. For example, if I was to do this move, what animal might that be like? If you guessed lion, you'd be right. Okay, get on your feet, find some space, and let's get dancing. Okay, I hope you're ready, let's go. Here comes number one. Great job, everyone. Here comes number two. Can you guess which one that was? Have a think. Okay, here comes number three. Ooh, tricky that one. Here comes number four. Good job everybody, good job. Okay, here we go. Last one now. Here comes number five.
Great, give yourselves a round of applause, very good. Well done. Now, on the screen, you should see all of the numbers with all the animals that all the moves were based on. Have a look. Did you get any right? Did you get any wrong? to know our God again. The Lord is good, the Lord is strong, and we will live our lives for Him. interrupt but are you really saying that God invited both Jonah and the Ninevites to step into his story? The Ninevites who were mean people and Jonah who had a special mission from God and ran away. God must have loved them all so much. He didn't give up on either Jonah or the Ninevites but instead he followed them and eventually they said yes to his invitation. God rescued them all. That is amazing. I can't wait to see what happens next week in part two of Jonah's story. But I still have one question, HT Kids. This story was a really long time ago. Do you think God still invites people to be part of his story today? Well, actually,
actually, we're one step ahead of you. We've talked to some of our HD family about how they have stepped into God's story. We're going to hear from one of these people now. So, can you tell us who you are? Hi, I'm Sally. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be a mum and I'm also a granny. And uh, with my work, I, I get to travel to the other side of the world and meet people who live in a very different sort of way to the way we do but in fact not so much at the moment. We're so glad to be talking to you today Sally. My first question is would you rather have grass growing out of your head or flowers growing out of your toenails? Well I like the toenails idea. Um, I love flowers uh, and I like I, I love growing them in my garden and um, hmm yeah it, as I was walking along, I might squash them, but, but then the smell would be lovely as it uh, rose up as I trod on them and squashed them. Great answer. And now can you tell us how you became a Christian? I became a Christian one evening when life was hard. And um, I was sitting on my own in a church in St Martin, uh, called St Martin in the Fields in London, and I, I was I was feeling lonely, and I experienced the love of God in my heart, in uh, a totally new way. And from that time on, I joined a church and I discovered a new Christian family, and. Um, I've never really looked back. <laughs> so. What difference has being part of God's story made to your life? Uh, well, being a Christian has given me self-respect. Knowing God loves me has given me strength and courage. It's also given me a real love for the natural world, um, an appreciation of God's beautiful creation, uh, sort of knowing that God made everything um, helps me to appreciate it and love it more. Uh, it, you can see in how beautiful the world is, you can see uh, a mirroring of, of his love. I think also knowing how patient God is with me when I make mistakes helps me to be patient with other people. I find my work quite difficult so I need to ask God to help me quite often um, with the various problems that come up in my work and I find that he always does help me so that encourages me to to go on with the work. Um, the work I do is work that I feel that God particularly gave me to do. It's work um, with raising money for very poor people on the other side of the world. Um, uh, some of these people are very, very elderly. Uh, some of them fought in the Second World War or their widows when they've died uh, and some of them are very very young and their children in a, a school in a refugee camp um, so it's extremely interesting to me but as I say I, I couldn't do any, any of it without prayer and without knowing that God's going to help me through it that's awesome. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Sally. Now let's see what the HD Kids team think about all of this. I'm not sure how you managed to take over the video like that, but that was amazing. Those stories were incredible. I've decided that as the weeks go on and we hear from more people, I'm going to add their names to my God's Big Storybook. So let's start with the people that we heard from today. First, we heard about Jonah. Jonah ran away from God's invitation, but God still welcomed him back and still had a place for him in his story. And then we had the interview with Sally. 
Because this invitation isn't just for people in the Bible, but it's for us today, now too. You are invited to be part of God's story. Let's pray together now as we come to an end. Dear God, thank you that we are invited to be part of this amazing story. And thank you that even when we run away like Jonah, you still welcome us back and still have a place for us. God, we pray that you'd be showing us how to live out your story in our own lives this week. Amen. Well, that is everything from us today. Uh, I am so excited for the rest of this series and for all of the stories that we're going to hear. We are going to be online for the whole term, but we're also hoping to be on site every other week from the 2nd of May, as long as the guidelines allow. But check out our website for information about how to sign up and for the most up-to-date details. I hope that you have a really great day. See you soon.